Hi family, how are you? Hugs and kisses to you. It's me, Miss Sam. Now, my apologies for not doing videos for two days. Uno, dos, tres. Okay, three days. Tres días. Porque I was recording. I was recording for you guys, but I was rambling a lot. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I rambled so much, I didn't, didn't stay on topic. So there you go. All right. So anywho, I'm back with, <laughs> I'm back with some readings today. <laughs> All right, so um, Lillian Lathan, Lillian Lathan. Oh, hugs and kisses to you, darling. I gotta give you a magical kiss, huh? All right, so Linen Lathan. Uh, something to do with a, a young boy and his friend. Um, he asked his permission to go out with his friend. Mom said yes. He went out with a friend. Mom was tracking his phone. And it turns out that uh, the young boy went missing. And the mom spoke to his friend friend said he's in the bathroom turns out that was a lie friend's parents are acting suspicious body in the lake and god knows what happened but i'll pull some cards okay all right so Okay, hold on a second. Ah, right, okay. So here's the story. I'll read it from Sportskedia. Okay, Sportskedia. Uh very handsome fella, young boy, 18 years old, from Miramar. Miramar's Florida, right? Or is it? Okay, so what happened to Lynn and Latham? Body of missing 18 year old Miramar teen found in Lake. Um, now, this is from April. So this story is a few months old, okay? The 18-year-old was last seen near Vizcaya Park at 11.30 p.m. The same was confirmed by Miramar police officials on Thursday. The search for the boy came to an end when police discovered his body in a lake at the Vizcaya community. No foul play has been suspected as of now. However, the cause of death is yet to be determined. Law enforcement officials did not reveal details on how they recovered Latham's body. Several law enforcement agencies are looking into the matter to unearth the chain of events that transpired um, that night. Police have also urged the public to reach out <coughs> excuse me to reach out to them excuse me regarding the case um, and anything could be useful all right I read that very very fast but um, I'm gonna pull some cards all right just a second <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. Linen Latham. God rest his soul. 
I'm seeing a psychic picture as if somebody's pushing him into that lake. But before he was pushed into the lake, we've got the Eight of Swords here. There's like a self-imposed restriction. Um, what's coming up is that linen had this inkling, this feeling that he was trapped, that he had been kind of brought somewhere for a purpose. Now, it's interesting because, as I mentioned, he was with a friend, right, at some point. But he definitely felt that he was trapped and set up. There was a realization that he had. A realization that a trap was set for him and that he had been caught, okay? There's some giving the benefit of the doubt here as well in terms of him not wanting to believe that someone had set him up. That's the Eight of Swords there. That's um, a representation. The woman you can see is a representation of linen bound and tied up. But you see, see this um, blindfold across the face here? This is the fact that Linham knew that his friend or somebody wasn't shit. He knew this. You see, this is why it's important to kind of follow your first mind, follow your instincts, follow your intuition. You know, it's God talking to you, your, your guardian angels talking to you. You know, your, your attention is being drawn to something for some reason, okay? And uh, if you feel a particular way about a somebody who's close to you and who you see possibly on a daily basis like he saw his friend etc if it's the friend you know he was definitely weary about this person all right um, but also another thing about this card is there is a lake here in the background and there are mountains here and so on so it seems as if always with the eight of swords it's about a woman who is far away from home in terms of far away from where she's supposed to be far away from her purpose or also far away from her original idea of what was going on you know sometimes you have a relationship and it's one way and then when you look at it three months later or three years later you think damn you know we've we've come so far in terms of you know the relationship is not what it used to be yeah things have changed so something changed between him and somebody else okay uh, also the physical location and you see the lake there yeah? but again uh, the young boy wanting to give the benefit of the doubt to somebody card oh okay six of pentacles in reverse this is interesting um, it seems as if somebody wanted something from him. And the card is in the reverse. We have rats here on this card. Again, we have this lady here who has justice scales in one hand and she's giving cheese to the rats with the other hand. So something very unfair and unjust was going on between Linum, Linon and somebody else okay it was a very unbalanced relationship somebody was using somebody it seems as if this was linen here and he wasn't able to or he wasn't giving whatever it was he wasn't willingly giving whatever it was that the person wanted he was definitely being used before his death for some reason now these are 18 year olds so i don't know if it's about money i don't know if it's about something else I don't know if he had anybody who was physically attracted to him and wanted to, you know, wanted him in that way. I don't know. But whatever it was, Linen wasn't with it. <laughs> okay. It's likely that he was taken to that place or taken somewhere where the person felt that he wouldn't be able to argue with them, where he was more likely to give in or give whatever it was that the person wanted. Yeah. I'll pull another card. Um, this was a request, by the way, 
Yeah. Oh. We've got the lover's card here in reverse. See, I did mention about giving something up and him not really wanting to give it. Uh, well, also, another interesting thing about this is, can you see the lady here in the background? Okay. This is some kind of voyeur or third party or observing energy. I want to tell you that the very same energies that I personally know that are around the Shanquilla Robinson case. Yes, I know I didn't do a video on Shanquilla Robinson, but I told you some of the reasons why I didn't do it. And I will not be doing it because that kind of content is certainly not for YouTube. But I'm giving you a hint here with this card, a hint. See the lady here in the background? This is third party voyeur looking on energy, all right? Now the card that came up before was the pentacles card. Pentacles refers to money, health, wealth, material stuff, house and care and things that maybe an 18 year old would want. What does an 18 year old want? What do a pair of teenagers want? They want money, they want air forces, they want video games, they want jewelry, they want women or you know, whatever, you know, whichever way the pendulum swings for them. That's the kind of things they want. They usually want very, very superficial things. So unfortunately, with this, these three cards here, this may be a kind of bitter pill to swallow and this reading is for entertainment purposes only. I'll just give it to you straight. It looks as if there was some kind of uh, sexual situation that somebody wanted with linen. Linen wasn't with it at all. Maybe he had an idea that a person was a certain way inclined or maybe he had no idea at all. But what's more interesting in regards to these three cards is the fact that there is somebody here in the background who was watching all of this play out and was watching um, who, who expected to see something and some money had been exchanged in some money had been exchanged for that what I'm trying to say to you is this is a case of just like with Shanquilla Robinson where some kind of uh, footage film or content was supposed to come out of what was supposed to happen and as soon as Lennon got wind of that you know he had some kind of idea but as soon as he got wind of that he was like oh shit I need to get out of here and you see there's this self-imposed restriction it's like would my friend really be like that would my friend be that much of a freak would my friend really agree to this type of thing and who the hell is that lingering in the bushes over there unfortunately this is what's coming up very often um very often sometimes things are not as cut and dried as you think that they are this seems to be um somebody i've one of dotty friend just like jackie o dotty friend them just like shank willa robinson dotty friend them somebody who wanted to make some money and some dirty old man came and offered them something disclaimer offered them a little money because it's very easy to entice teens they want money or they want girl them want man them want clothing them want jewelry them want all of this type of thing it's very easy to entice them and by bringing his friend to this secluded place maybe he felt as if the friend would just comply and maybe he you know he'd talk to him and say you know we're gonna get a little bit of money for this or whatever or maybe he didn't tell him about no money at all but this very strange and freaky request was made Lennon wasn't with it and um, what happened next Okay, this is the Tower of the Haunted House, just in case you wanted to know. So we're going to pull a fourth card and we'll just leave it there. Again, this is for entertainment purposes only. None of this is true. It's all bullshit. Don't listen to me. Okay. we got this Empress card here. Now, this is interesting because this is telling you that there was somebody there. And we've got the Empress, the person who was in the back, the third party, who got big 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 money and um, is very very prosperous you can see the bunny here which is giving me all kinds of different energy fertile prosperous and this is somebody who does this type of thing again and again and again it's very likely that the person who is responsible for the death of linen or who 
gave the command that he should be offed because the point of the matter is if this person here has a concealed identity he or she does not want people to know who he or she is okay and if this happened with these two boys it means it's regularly happening all the time the bunny rabbit is telling me that the bunny is very fertile and this is continued businesses repeat businesses repeat transactions so we're dealing with a very very wealthy person here whose identity you'll probably never ever know whose activities will be ongoing this wasn't the first time but it's unfortunately we're finding out about it via this reading and probably various other cases that are similar and have a similar end i want to say r.i.p to the young guy condolences to his family take this with a pinch of salt but it was a request here on celestial tarot readings uh, for readings you can go to celestotarotreadings.com i'm extremely extremely busy but i do endeavor to get your reading to you the next day or the day after okay so uh what are the lessons from this well you just have to be careful you have to be really be careful and follow your first mind you know when it comes to teenagers they don't follow their first mind they think that they know everything you as a parent might see something that they can't see and they're not going to try and hear it from you okay uh what you what what could have happened in this case i mean they are 18 so it's not like they're 15 year olds or 14 year olds but you know anytime your friend you see he was a very respectful boy he asked his mother can i go x y or z can i go and meet with my friend most 18 year olds wouldn't even do that they'd just piss off and go and you call them and text them where the hell are you oh i'm over here with with john or whatever or i'm with trisha or whatever right what you can do is try and keep them close to you have them all come to the house if they want to hang out come hang out at your house but don't have your kid you know have them going up and down you don't know exactly where they are this that never because the mum was tracking him on the phone and when she tracked him you know that's the reason why she made the calls to his friend and so on that's why she she kind of knew where he was but the point of the matter is she shouldn't have had to bloody well track him oh it's just very difficult anyway www.celestialtarotreadings.com ashe let's just spin the case on um linen latham okay chukudalo inshallah see you soon bless